Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pad. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the VM from BoneHub called InfoSec Prep for the OSCP. This is a pretty cool box. So, if you guys aren't familiar with the OSCP exam, it's from Offensive Security. It's the Offensive Security Certified Professional. It's like the a penetra a penetration testing certification. You have to hone some boxes, five boxes, and all that stuff. It's all from OSSEC, so you can check it out. Okay, so if we look at this, you know, page right here, we can download it right here. You can download it from Google Drive or the Mirror or a Torrent. So in the description here, it's it's it's, pr it's a pretty easy box, and the machine was created, you know, from the InfoSec Prep Discord. So I guess before you know they had vouchers for the OSCP exam. Obviously, this is too late for that now, but the point of this box. Let's keep going down. So we have some information. Uh, find the flag in the root directory and submit it, you know, to the try harder bot on Discord. Obviously, we're not going to do that. We're just going to try to pwn the box. Okay. So big thanks for Offensive Security for providing this OSCP voucher. It's too bad we missed it. This is you know August 2021. So this was in this was last year. All right. So it says this. Box works better in VirtualBox and VMware. I'm gonna do it in VMware Workstation. I already have it prepped and good to go. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So if we go here, this is the OSCP box. So we have the IP address of 192.168.32.204. Okay, let's go back here. Let me make sure I have everything open. Okay, so first things first, uh, let me minimize this. So we can open up a command shell, a terminal. I have an OSCP prep for my cherry tree for my notes. First thing I'm going to do is I, ha I have the IP address. So it's 192.168.32.204, I believe. And if we weren't if we weren't sure, we can just do an ARP, a quick ARP scan. And this will go out and send an ARP against our network or on our network. And obviously, we know that's at layer two of the OSI model. And we come back with 192.168.32.204 right here. Okay? So we got that. Now, what is the next step? What we can do now is run a NMAP scan. And with the NMAP scan results, we can see what services are running, what, you know, what ports are open, and all that good stuff, right? So let's clear this out really quick. And let's just do an end map. All right. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to go ahead and run an end map to my IP address, and I want to send this results to an OSCP.txt. Okay. So let's do that. We're going to do an aggressive scan all ports. So let's give this a minute. And once this is done, you know we're going to get the results. We're going to get it in a TXT, and we can copy these into our notes in the Cherry tree, just for best practices, I'm used to doing this. This is what I want to start doing in my videos as well. Instead of just going through it, I want to document as I go. So what I want to do is copy all this, okay, copy. And I want to throw this in cherry tree. So I can make a, another sub note, which is nmap. And I can just paste that here. It's very big. Let's make that a little smaller, okay. So let's go back to the results. This is just for note taking. So we can see here, let's uh, get this a little bigger. So we can see port 22 is open, SSH, port 80. So we know web services is running, right? So we can try to just go out to the website, 192.168. I believe I did this already, but I'm gonna go ahead and create an entry in my local host file so I can just put OSCP, okay? So let's just do cat etc host, and I have it here. Perfect. So because I, I, I did do the box and I wanted, I wanted to record it and I totally forgot and that's why I'm doing it now. So I made, a I, I made an entry in the host file 192.168.32.204 pointing to OSCP. So if we ping OSCP, it should resolve that IP address as it does. Okay, so we're good there. So technically now, if we just go out to 
the interwebs, let's just, uh, that's from another box. So let's just come here and do DAF4, okay? We can do that, we can see the OSCP voucher, but we can also do this. I want to explain what we're going to do, but let's do HTTP colon WAPWAP OSCP. We're getting to the same spot, all right? So I just want to show the difference. You can, do, you, you can use an IP address or a DNS name, and OSCP in this case is our DNS name, okay? Cool. So we see just another WordPress site, so we know it's maybe susceptible to vulnerabilities in WordPress, but let's just look, you know, it's created by admin on July 9th, 2020, there's no comments, and in order to enter the giveaway, it's pretty much, you know, submit it like we, you know, like we said in the beginning of the video. So you must be a member of the server, blah, blah, blah. So this is something critical. Oh yeah, almost forgot. The only user on this box is OSCP. So we know OSCP is a username on that OSCP box. So I want to go ahead and take this, copy this, and I want to put back up here, I want to put user OSCP. We don't know the password, okay? We don't know the password yet. So let, let's keep moving, all right? So we can, you know, we can start inspecting the page. Whoops, not that. We can start inspecting the source code. We can look in here, see if there's any fun stuff. But I don't think there is, okay? Why isn't this, why isn't this zooming out? Okay, all right, no worries. So there's nothing really there, okay? So next thing we're gonna do, we know it's WordPress, right? We can do a few things, right? We can use Nikto. We're gonna use Nikto in this case, and I wanna show you guys how to use Durbuster as well to see what's out there. Or go buster, same thing. And this is gonna go ahead and brute force the directories and see if there's any directories or files beyond the 192.168.32.204 or OSCP. So anything OSCP slash what is after this? We don't know, right? So let's go ahead and find out. Let's minimize this, clear this. So we can use Nikto. So Nikto and then dash H for host, HTTP, OSCP, okay? So let's go ahead and do that, and see what's out there, okay? We can, this is like a, like a network scan, a vulnerability scan that we're gonna use with Nikto. So we can see the IP address, it resolved the IP address. It has a target of OSCP, so the host name is probably OSCP. Port 80, we know it's running Apache on Ubuntu, right? So we can see anti-click uh, jacking is not present, okay? So if we keep going down, there's nothing really interesting quite yet. Oh yeah, there is right here. So if you see, right here we have an entry secret.txt. We can get to this, we could have figured this out a few ways. Normally when you do any kind of website stuff, you'll go right to the robots.txt, right? But let this finish. We can see other stuff here too, right? But let's go back. While that's doing its thing, let's go ahead and just do robots.txt. Okay, so as you can see here, disallowed. So just exactly what we saw here, we can see secret.txt. So let's copy this and remove robots. And what do we got here? Okay, so we have what looks like a, let me, let me zoom this out a little bit. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Okay, so what we have here looks like a, six, a base 64, okay? We can tell by the equal equal and it starts with a capital. That's what gives it away. So what can we do with this, right? We can do a few things with this, okay? So we can, Copy this, cat it out, we can use crawl, we can use a few things. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna crawl it and I wanna show you how to do this. Well, we can update it, that's fine. Okay, so that's fine. This is all good, we got all this information. So let's go ahead and copy this, just for best practices. Let's go all the way down. Thank you, copy, 
And let's go back to Cherry Tree. Add a subnote, Nikto, paste. Okay, cool deal. So now we have that in our notes. So now let's use crawl. Okay, perfect. Obviously, give me one second. Let's. So what this is doing, it's crawling HTTP. I want to put, oh, actually, I want to do OSCP. So I have, remember, I, I did this box. OSCP, and then I want to do base64. Okay, so now this just went out and crawled that. Okay, and it decoded it. We can do it that way, or we can also go out to the interwebs and go to Google and just do base64, decode. Okay, let's go decode, go back here, copy this, paste it here, decode and it gives us a, right here, I was like, what the heck happened? But right here we have begin open SSH private key. So now we have the private key. Now what are we gonna do? We have to save this, like save this file as whatever, oscp.rsa, right? We have to save this key, because this is how we're probably gonna be able to log into the server, all right? So let's go ahead and control A, control C, copy that, Minimize this bad boy for a second. All right, so there's multiple ways how to do it. Like this, let's do an LS. We only have, we only have the OSCP.txt, which is the Nmap skin. So now what we can do is do a nano. And I'm gonna name this, I'm just gonna do nano for now. Let's paste. Okay, so now we're pasting that key into a, into a file, right? And let's do control X. Yes, I wanna save it. And what do I want to name it? I'm going to put OSCP.RSA. Okay. Now I can do an LS. Now we have an RSA key. Okay. So now what? Right. So now we can just cap that really quick just to show you. And now we can see the key. Okay. So what's the next thing we can do? We can try to SSH into it. Let's clear the screen. Let's uh, stop from a blank slate. So now we can try to SSH to that box using the OSCP user, what we got, at OSCP, so let's do SSH, okay? So right here we have SSH OSCP, which is the username, at OSCP, which is the host name, dash I, indicating this file, and then OSCP.RSA, okay? This is pretty much how we're gonna log in, and okay, cool deal, I'm glad this happened. Right, I'm glad this happened. So let's do an ls-la. We can see we need to add permissions. So let's do chmod 600, but we're gonna do OSCP, RSA, perfect. Now let's clear this out and try that again. See if it works, bada bing. Now we're in that box, okay? So now we do ID, we're logged in as OSCP, who am I? And then, you know, host name, OSCP. So we can see that we're in that box, okay, ls. So pwd, if config, we can see all the stuff that were on that box, okay? So what can we do at this very moment now? Like, what, what is there now to do? So. If we try to like, for example, let's do PWD again. So if we do CD to home, LS, OSCP, let's do LS. Let's try to do CD to root. Finding an access denied because we're not root, okay? But I'm sure we have to get into root because if we remember in the directions up here, it said somewhere Find, find the flag.txt in the root directory, in root, okay? So now let's go ahead and just do cd home oscp ls again. All right, so now there's a few things we can do here, right? We can go out to uh, limpies. We can try to 
upload scripts to try to privilege escalation. We can do quite a few things. And let me get that, let me actually get that, uh, let me see if I have the actual site. I think I have it on my machine. Uh, okay, I don't know where it is. Uh, we could probably, let me see if I have it in here. Oh, here it is, boom. I did have it. So this is Linux Privilege Escalation Awesome Script. So you can utilize this, and I found this out from a coworker actually, he told me about this. So hats off to you, Aiden, if you ever watch this video. So this is pretty cool, but we're not gonna use that. We're gonna do something a little different. So what I'm gonna do really quick is I wanna do an ls dash L, okay? So in a directory, bin bash, right? So I wanna see something, whoops, not that. So we have root root, so we know root, you know, we have root access to this if we if we can attack the, uh, what do you call it? Like, we can attack this, right? Pretty much it's an unattended uh, privilege escalation. So what we can actually do here is we can do slash uh, bin slash bash dash p. Okay, now we can do id, and now we should be root. Who am I? Root. So what is the dash p, if you're asking? Let's open up this really quick. Let's do man bash grep p. So if we go up here to the dash p, wherever it is, did I pass it? Maybe I did. Give me a second. Uh, let's maybe go up a little bit more. Maybe it's around here. Uh, do, 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 skip. Right here, perfect. So this turns on privilege mode. So in this mode, you know, we can see if there's, you know, this is pretty much what we're doing. We're turning on the privilege mode, okay? So now, if we do CD root ls, we have the flag right there. So cat flag.txt and boom. Now we have that flag. Now we can copy this, put it into our cherry tree. And now we would submit this to wherever it was. Where was it? Take this, submit it to the try hotter bot and you would get a uh, OSCP voucher. But that's pretty much it. That we are able to pwn the box. This is pretty much the walkthrough to get this OSCP VM pwned. And I want to put the link in the description. So it's InfoSec Prep OSCP, this is the box. And I want to thank Falcon Spy for this box. It was pretty cool. And yeah, until next time, you know, like I always say, please like, subscribe. If you like my videos, make sure you hit the bell to get you know notifications for more videos. I just hit 14,000 subscribers, I think last week. I really wanna thank everyone for the support and love. It's, it's, it's mean, meaning so much to me. So this is a really fun journey. I've been doing it for like a year and a half now, almost two years. And 14,000 may not be a lot for a lot of people, but for me, it's a boatload. So thanks again for everyone. And um, yeah, until next time, have a good one. Thank you.